Good morning, everyone. And today's theme is surrendering to the unknown. It goes perfectly, even with the lights yeah. going out and the power going out. That's right. Yeah. So we'd like to invite you into a prayer. And if you wish, you can close your eyes. Today, I let Christ's vision look upon all things for me and judge them not, but give each one a miracle of love instead. So would I liberate all things I see and give to them the freedom that I seek. For thus do I obey the laws of love and give what I would find and make my own. It will be given me because I have chosen it as the gift I want to give. Father, your gifts are mine. Each one that I accept gives me a miracle to give. And giving as I would receive, I learn your healing miracles belong to me. Our Father knows our needs. He gives us grace to meet them all. And so we trust in him to send us miracles, to bless the world and heal our minds as we return to him. Yeah, it's been a very interesting week. <laughs> yeah, it's like always at the beginning of the week, we already have a um, topic in mind for the show. And it's like the prayer begins and throughout the week, it's like everything just starts showing up, supporting that show. And yeah, it's been the way that it's always been mm. for us. <laughs> But not this week. <laughs> this week was very different. We started with um, with this topic and with this beautiful idea, and it was just like it just like what, it just what was it? Weakness. weakness to strength. <laughs> and yeah, like it didn't build up; it just went down. Like it went from strength really. to weakness. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> that idea. Like, yeah, I don't know. Something really wasn't complete with that idea. Yeah. And it, it wasn't ready, like it isn't, it wasn't ready to be shared. So it was just like, shh, okay. So we came to, okay, Friday, we are already like, okay, we need to know, we need to know now. And okay, but just calm down, <laughs> calm down. It will come in, it will come in. And then Saturday was the same situation, like, oh God, what are we going to do? And at that point, I can say that I was already very stressed about it. That was yesterday. Yes, mm. yesterday. I was very, very stressed about it that I didn't know what we were going to talk. And like we weren't able to prepare ourselves mm. and just be ready and like prepare all the beautiful prayers. And mm. God, it's like I always point to that. I always come to that point of, very high stress like pressure i need to know now mm. i need to figure this situation now mm. Mm. and of course that wasn't very helpful no, no my yeah. experience was um i didn't feel i didn't feel as stressed um i felt like something would come in but nothing was coming in so i was very blank i was very blank the whole time and we were sort of like coming up with ideas, right? But what about this? What about that? <laughs> there's so many ideas, and that was that was making things worse in a way. I was like, is that is that really what the guidance is? <laughs> Getting more and more confused <laughs> after each idea. Yeah. It's like, oh God, maybe we're supposed to just have prayers today, and mm. it was okay. Maybe not. Maybe we're supposed to talk about this mm. or this, mm. and. Yeah, at the end, it was like in that moment of stress, panic or whatever, at least for me, I can mm. say for me. <laughs> it was like I was ready to just say, okay, I need help. Mm. 
I need help because this is not really working. Mm. There's some kind of block in my mind that I can't receive the answer. Mm. And I can't receive what's, what's being asked of me. Um, okay, so that was like the point where we had to ask for help. Mm. And we were like putting it off and just wait. Yeah, I think maybe this will work. Mm. And yeah, it was okay. We really need to ask for help for now. Mm. Um, I think that was the point that just switched everything around. At that point, we said, okay, we really need to join with someone. Mm. At that point, it was a person that will be more clear than us. <laughs> like, when our mind is just, like, crazy, we really need to join with someone that it's going to be, like, stable or really knows what will be helpful in that moment. And our given link was Kristen. And so that was like, okay, we really need to connect with her and just like ground all these ideas, like ground our minds again to stabilize our minds so that we could receive what was coming for the show. Mm. And when we spoke with her, it was really, really beautiful. Mm. She was so peaceful. And she just said, okay, if you take the time aspect out of it if you forget that it's tomorrow what do you feel to talk about what's in your heart and we started exploring this yeah maybe it is talking about the unknown maybe it is maybe it is talking about the surrendering into the unknown and that title came in like from all this pressure anxiety to just a surrendering to that peace and trust and yeah, like it just becomes like a thing that you're doing out of I need to do something out of obligation and it was like the inspiration got lost there because I was so focused on the, on the time and so focused on what is being asked of me that like the inspiration just dropped and she was just helping us. Like, remember, why are you doing this really? What's your inspiration behind it? What do you want to listen? What do you want to say to yourself? What is it that you need to hear right now? And I could see for myself, like with all this planning and all this stress, it's like, I'm not open, it's just like I'm close to all the possibilities that are being offered. Like my mind just shuts down, like like all these stress ideas or whatever, it's just a defense that's being built up. And I guess this show might be just surrendering all these defenses. Yeah, I think I noticed um, this week, I felt anxious quite a lot of the time in doing and that was that was the fueling of being this doer and being really identified with the self-identity and i was praying on that what 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 is this it seems like this is i've suffered like this a long time i can get things done but in suffering mm. surely there has to be another way but there's never been there's never been another way um and so this theme like coming in of like unknown, yeah, maybe it is that I don't know. And it was like that fear that I must know. Surely you have to know what you're doing. Um, I have to know this, this control, yeah. Really controlling. So behind that is like so much fear. If I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, then, then, then what happens? <laughs> but that's the point. Yeah, that that's the, the, point. the precious point mm. because when you get to that point okay maybe i don't know i don't know i have no idea clearly i'm not in control mm. it's like at that point you really come in your knees mm. and you say okay i i don't have a clue of what's mm. going on mm. i don't know how to go through the situation mm. 
with I mean, things from the past. Mm. I don't know forward right now. Mm. It's like a point of reset. Like, mm. okay, what do you need to do now? It's just like being in that surrender. Mm. Having that prayer. Help me. Help me through this. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It was like being on the brink of surrender. It mm. was like, I want to surrender, but I don't know how to surrender mm. to this. And the pattern seems to be continuously playing. So how do I, how do I really, really surrender? Mm. And I think through the show, that actually helped to say, okay, I, I, really, I really don't know. Mm. I think you had similar experiences this week of, of the, the trying to know but not knowing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. It's what you were saying, like all this control. Mm. I need to have this in order. I need to have this organized and I need to have this like perfect. Mm. And that just feels like such a horrible thing. Mm. But even yesterday, it was like all that control coming up, all that pressure. And at that point where I just said, I need help, that was my way of saying, okay. Mm. Like being in that, in that trust, mm. like it was that point, okay, clearly my strength and my ideas of what it is, mm. is just keeping me trapped. Mm. It's just keeping me trapped. So it's like, okay, I need help. Mm. I'm, I'm willing to release all the ideas that I have mm. to be able to receive mm. the gift. Yeah, I think something that was, was helpful yesterday that I invite everyone into now is just saying to yourself, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. And just see what that, that brings up in your mind. That's, I just don't know. You know, it's like giving the passenger seat of the car to God. <laughs> it's that point. It's like, uh, the driver's listen, seat. The driver's seat. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. That's all right. It's like, you can drive now. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, and no. there's a relief with that. Yeah, it's like that. Trying to know is very painful, felt very, very painful trying to know. And then when we finally relaxed into just really being together and saying, okay, I don't know, that's when I don't know, something, something became much more peaceful. Mm. And I actually found some really um, beautiful parts in the course. Mm. Should, should I? Should I oh, them? you can share your experience with them first and then you could share them. What do, you think? what do you think I should share first and then? That you had a beautiful. Yeah, I think I'll share the, the, the text okay. first. Okay, share the text first. So this is in a section, chapter 14, the test of truth. So this is a good line to start off with. Your learning gives the present no meaning at all. Nothing you have ever learned can help you understand the present or teach you how to undo the past. Your past is what you have taught yourself. Let it all go. Do not attempt to understand any event or anything or anyone in its light for the darkness in which you try to see can only obscure. Put no confidence at all in darkness to illuminate your understanding. For if you do, you contradict the light and thereby think you see the darkness. Yet darkness cannot be seen, for it is nothing more than a contradiction in which seeing becomes impossible. So that's kind of what what was happening to us, really, wasn't it? We were yeah. we were in the we were looking for the truth in the darkness, <laughs> and it was like, hey, step into the unknown with me, 
And it was like, oh, oh no, we must know. Give me your trust. Yeah, give me your trust. You can trust, I have this. And yet, as he, as he teaches, we must let everything go that we know. Mm. And it was kind of like this first time he talks about this so much in, in the book. It's like the Zen teachings of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool, really. You can imagine him joining with Wang Po in heaven on this when he was writing um, this book. It's like, hey, Wang Po, have you got any um, Zen Cohen's for me? <laughs> Yes, sure I have. <laughs> Jesus was like breaking them all down. How do we know what we know? That's great. I'll put it in. <laughs> and it's like this goes throughout the whole book and it's like it's so hard to really take in that I don't know. And when you think about it, the very first lesson, nothing I see means anything. It's like, okay. You try and do it's that. like an instantaneous like <laughs> to the ego like the thing the one thing that thinks it knows yeah you don't understand what you're seeing you don't understand anything that's going on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now what do i do it's like you know it's like wiping the table yeah, like, yeah. now it's clean and open to yeah. see yeah and that's what the workbook lessons takes us through like mm. wiping our mind of all the things that don't really help us yeah. to clear our mind, to clear the mind so that we can listen in a fuller way and a mm. more clear way, a clear mind. That's what we're going through. Exactly. The process of cleaning yeah. and not yeah. knowing. Yeah, it's not <laughs> enough to say, okay, I do not know. We have to really experience it. Oh, and I love this next one. Yeah. I want to I wanna, read this yeah, and read the next paragraph. Yeah, sure. So, you can listen to this. you love this one. Mm -hmm. What have you taught yourself that you can possibly prefer to keep in place of what you have and what you are? Whenever you think you know, peace will depart from you because you have abandoned the teacher of peace. Whenever you fully realize that you know not, peace will return for you will have invited him the ego on behalf of him call not upon the ego for anything it is only this that you need to the holy self fill every mind that soul makes room for him There's in this trying to know of not giving this space. And it mm -hmm. seems like if I don't know, then that's going to bring up more fear. But yet in not knowing is actually opening up the space for something mm -hmm. wonderful to come through. Yeah. But it seems so counterintuitive to believe that I don't know. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like, wow, I can just feel this so powerful for me right now. It's like making room for him to come mm. releasing all these ideas mm. it's, it's the opening that we were talking about like really the surrendering part of it mm. yeah i think and i can share, um, share my part in in actually reading this um last night as i was sat there motion was was coming up i can still feel it in the background and it was just saying yeah I, I i really don't know i don't know what this what what i'm doing and there was something um it was like a relief it was like a relief that i didn't have to to know um any longer and that that was the very thing that was stopping me from being me and there was yeah just i wanted i wanted to cry but i couldn't quite get in touch with it it was like it was like pulling me into the surrender and it was like i could just experience wow there's something really beautiful in this in in this not knowing and that the pain has been 
in trying to know this is mm. very, very I've been fearful all of my life. I could sort of like feel that like, wow, this has just been so fearful mm. of this letting go, mm. but not knowing what the letting go was. And something, yeah, something peaceful was behind that. So it's like, I'm still feeling like I'm in this sort of like the shake of this unknown, that maybe it is something really, really, really wonderful mm. to, to surrender to. So I'm kind of grateful for this. Mm. Yeah, it's beautiful what you were sharing. It's, it reminds me of that little part that we had here. I think it's this one here, look. It's exactly that one. I can read it? Yeah. Yeah. Do not be concerned. This is still from chapter 14. 14th, the test of truth. And do not be concerned about how you can learn a lesson so completely different from everything that you have taught yourself. How would you know? Your part is very simple. You need only recognize that everything you learn, you do not want. Ask to be taught and do not use your experiences to confirm what you have learned. When your peace is threatened or disturbed in any way, say to yourself, I do not know what anything, including this, means. And so I do not know how to respond to it. And I will not use my past learning as the light, as the light to guide me now. By this refusal to attempt what you do not know, the guide in whom God has given you will speak to you. He will take his rightful place in your awareness the instant you abandon it and offer it to him. Mm. I'm feeling we just go into the prayer and just have some silent time. Would you like to do that? Yes. Yes. It's like this beautiful piece it just came right now. Did you put it in? It's here, yes. Where is it? And the first, the next one? There. Oh, yeah. So we would just like to join in a prayer again, entering into the unknown. So just if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes and go within. This holy instant would I give to you. Be you in charge. For I would follow you. Certain that your direction gives me peace. And if I need a word to help me, he will give it to me. If I need a thought, that will he also give. And if I need but stillness and a tranquil, open mind, these are the gifts I will receive of him. He is in charge by my request. And he will hear and answer me because he speaks for God, my Father, and his Holy Son.
I just feel very grateful for this. Oh God, me too. <laughs> now it's so peaceful. Mm. Like something just dropped. Mm. Like you can trust. Can mm. you see? Mm. You can trust. Mm. I'm doing this through you for you. Mm. Yeah, I felt that peace just coming over me now, which is a relief. Mm. Just that you can begin to trust this. I don't know. Now it's actually really beautiful when I'd done the talk with David, the non-duality talk. And he said, and it really stuck out in my mind at the time. I was just like blown away by what was happening, really. I couldn't really take it in. And he said, the only thing that we can know is that we don't know. That's the best that we can know. <laughs> and I thought, that's really great. <laughs> that's a really good statement. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that, that feels like my prayer now. <clears throat> That feels like the real prayer to really, I really do not know what my own best interests are and to really surrender to that. So I feel like I'm going to be taking this forward um, over the next coming weeks. and Sweet surrender. Yeah. Allowing Jesus to, to, all to, the miracles. to work his magic on this All one. the gifts. Yeah, all the gifts. I welcome all the gifts in to what I don't know. So... We also invite you into that. If you would like to join me in that, that would be a beautiful prayer that we just don't know. Oh, yeah. We can Open step into the unknown yeah. together. Join truly in the unknown. <laughs> <laughs> and you can let us know how you get on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Yes. Mm. Mm.